I eat each day, and it's up to me, and I'm the one in control. How do I know how to eat? And this is what I have for you that you haven't heard in the US, because I have this copyrighted. So, <laughs> you don't tell anybody, you say, call Margaret, she'll tell you how to do this, okay? Raise your hand that feeds you. Which hand do you eat with? Okay, take a look at that hand. How often does this hand feed you without your knowledge and without your permission? Meaning how often is it just putting food in your mouth and you're not paying attention to what's going in? Does it happen? I see a lot of shaking heads. That's called mindless eating. So look at this hand and say, you cannot feed me without my permission. And be aware of everything it's putting in your hand. And here's an analogy that I always use. How many of you like to shop? My husband always told me, he didn't realize shopping was a national pastime until he met me. I like to shop. But let's say I'm out in the store, and I'm looking at a blouse, and I'm holding up a blouse, same hand that I eat with, right? Do you shop with the same hand that you eat with? Okay, same brain that says what I'm gonna eat or not going to eat, right? So I'm holding a blouse, looking at it, saying, hmm, what do I have that this will go with? It's a little fit me. How much is it? Do I really wanna spend any money on this? So your brain is engaged. Is it that engaged in your eating? Or is the food, the hand just putting it in your mouth? Do you stop and say, do I really want this? Is this worth it to me? How much is this going to cost me? Is there a benefit or a consequence to me eating this? So think about that, okay? Now, take a look at that hand again. We have a couple of food groups that we need to eat from. We need to eat from fruits and vegetables. We need to eat from proteins. We need to eat from carbohydrates. We need to eat fats. And then we have another whole food group called specials. What do you think is in those specials? Snacks, sweets, cake, alcohol, pretzels, things like that. So take a look at this hand again. Which, which finger on your hand is the longest finger? I'm going to show you how to balance your eating now because when you learn to balance your eating, it doesn't matter what you're counting. It matters what you're eating. So when you learn how to balance your eating, you will be a healthier person in Conchetta. What will we do? We'll optimize our life. Optimize our life. I like that. So what's your, what's your uh, longest finger? 